Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Francesca Froyo. I'm a permanent makeup artist and today I'd like to share with you a technique, a demonstration on a model on how to execute the eyeliner permanent makeup technique in my own style. So let's just jump straight into the video. First of all, we're gonna start by the pre-drawing sketch. And in this phase, we're going to choose which shape and which size to give to the eyeliner. This will be chosen according to the taste of the client and to her shape of the eye, of the eyelid, I mean, of the bone structure around the eye. And during this phase, I like to always say to my clients, less is more. And I like to start those eyeliners quite in a small manner, so I don't wanna take them too extreme, too wide, too big, because this is something that the client might be into right now, but I am sure 100% that she will regret it over time. And since eyeliner is a very long lasting procedure, we need to make sure that the shape we're choosing today will still be nice on the eye of the client even after 10 years. For this face, I'm going to use uh, a biotech pigment and then I'm gonna use this uh, biotech pen with disposable tips and I'm just gonna dip the tip into the sterile pigment. And I will just simply start drawing like with regular makeup. Once I'm satisfied with the shape and I make sure that both eyeliners are symmetrical, then we're ready to go and start the procedure. As a device, I'm choosing my trusty Maestro device from Biotech, which is already pre-equipped with two hand pieces, a strong one and a soft one. And for this treatment, I'm choosing to use the strong hand piece, so the Maestro Strong. And I'm gonna use two needles. The first needle I'm going to use is a one point HD needle. With this needle, I'm going to mark into the skin the perimeter of the eyeliner. I hold and stretch quite well the eyelid, and then with a back and forth movement, I just mark the contour of the eyeliner into the skin. Remember that I, this area is quite delicate and the skin is very thin, so don't press too hard. If you notice that the pigment is not saturated enough, then you can pass over it a second time. Then with the same needle, I'm going to fill in the flick of the eyeliner. Why? Because this is a tiny area and I want a tiny needle to fill it in. And what's smaller than a 1.0 HD needle? Nothing. This needle is very, very fine and very precise. So. As usual, applying just the softest touch, I fill it in. Oh, one more thing, for this treatment, I've chosen to use a black color, and in particular, this black color is called Warm Black by Biotech. This is one of the new colors belonging to the new range of pigments they have just launched. And I love this color because it's a very rich black. It's not a cold grayish undertone black it's more it's a black it's a very dark black but it still is a warm black as the name says and it kind of stays this nice throughout the time it doesn't heal into grayish purple like some other black colors usually do Okay, 
go, uh, going back to the treatment, I'm now going to take my 7-point liner and needle. And with this bigger configuration needle, I'm going to fill in the remaining areas. Starting always from the external part, so the part that it's more close to the eyelid. And I fill it in with a back and forth movement. The speed of my machine is on 7 volts. And then slowly I leave the area between the lashes last. Because this area is the most sensitive one and in general is the one that swells more. So I kind of make the eye um, too swollen and it then becomes difficult for us as professionals to implant the pigment. So my advice is to leave it last. And then I just repeat the same steps over and over until everything is fully saturated. I should not be able to see any color of the skin of the client through the pigment. Everything should be completely black. Once you have reached that, you know you have done a good job, you know you will have a great retention of the color and you are ready, you're ready to say bye bye to your client, take the after procedure photo and as an aftercare I don't recommend to apply absolutely anything. Please remember that a little bit of swelling it's unavoidable so the eye are so sensitive they will swell for sure and they will swell even more the next day after the procedure so don't worry if that happens to you as well did you like the video i hope yes and i really hope it was helpful for you so don't forget to put like and share some of that love with me <laughs> also um i like to know from you guys what you would like me to treat in my next video tutorials if there is any topic uh, that you would like me to talk about or any technique that you would like to see um, done on demo like a step by step like in today's video so let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future content. Thank you. See you in the next videos. Ciao.